hey guys welcome back to another video of my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about overthinking and if you're an overthinker how you can overcome it and if you know someone who overthinks very much how you can treat them so that they can come out of overthinking now it's important to note that it is not an expert advice i'll just share my own thoughts and experience on how you can deal with overthinking and this video especially for those who cannot do anything in life because they're just overthinking i know there are some people who just goes on with their life even though they overthink a lot this video is for mainly those people who cannot whose life is just stuck because they're they're overthinking so and if you are just an overthinker and you want to come out of it you can watch this video but this video is especially for the extreme people okay so without wasting any more time let's get started First of all, I would like to start off by saying that overthinking is not a joke. Now many people say that it's nothing serious, you're overthinking, you should go and take a nap, okay? You are just thinking too much, you're worrying too much, you should not behave like that. Are you mentally ill? Anyone can overthink, irrespective of the age, gender, race, religion whatever social class they belong to, it does not matter. Anyone can suffer from overthinking. So first, I'm going to discuss, if you're an overthinker, I'm going to talk about what you can do to come out of that serious overthinking. So here it goes. If you are an overthinker, the first advice I want to give you is clear your doubts. Now maybe you can, you're thinking about something in your head like you did not even face the reality and you're thinking something very much negative and you're thinking that oh this might happen to you or this is bound to happen to you if you and as, as an overthinker many people just make up scenarios in their head such scenarios which did not even happen and it is most likely not going to happen to them and most of them it is most of the time it is a very very negative situation what happens is that they project scenarios inside their head which is which might never happen or which was never supposed to happen so they are already in a negative mindset so if you're if you go and clear the doubt and if you keep on clearing your doubts it will at one point you will realize that it's nothing except a scenario which you are creating inside your head and that is going to build up your confidence that will help you to be more positive that will help you to move on in, with your life because time and tide waits for none <laughs> i don't know whether it goes with the context or not the second advice i would like to give is is talk about it with someone make sure that that someone is someone who you trust re like very deeply and they won't use your insecurities to and backfire you okay make sure that trust that person is someone who you really really trust and love and they will not, they will not spill out your insecurities or use it against you now what happens is that when you share your inner thoughts what's the demon doing inside your head the negativity you will feel better for at least certain period of time and that is important because I'm talking about extreme overthinking. Now, when you're ex thinking negatively too much, you get that space in your head and you get that relief in your heart when you let someone, when you tell someone what's going on inside your heart and your mind, especially if it's someone who you are really close with or you or with whom you feel connected with. And if this might help you to focus on other things because you are now you will feel more relief for a certain period of time it, it will be able to provide you with a temporary solution and that is very important because it will help you to form the trust also because when you are when you are just speaking your about your insecurities with someone it will develop your relationship more it will make you make you to connected more connected so you for fulfilling one deed you are doing two things one thing is that you are letting your insecurities out 
you're making your heart feel more relieved and two you are developing the bond of that relationship you are developing the strength you are developing the trust and the love you have for each other so yeah one purpose and you're doing two things that's great <laughs> the third tip i have for you as an overthinker is that if it's necessary and if you think that you cannot get out of it anyhow take experts advice talk to a psychologist talk to a doctor or something like that who can help you out because it can get really 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 bad and overthinking can turn into anxiety it can turn into depression and you will be stuck in your life i cannot even explain what kind of horrible experience it is like and it is high time and it is very important that you start treating your mental health seriously because i know many people who are suffering mentally because of this pandemic and the negativity around them but they are because but they do not put much importance in it because it's just mental health right it's not your physical health nothing will happen instantly well guess what you your life will get stuck you won't be able to progress in your life you will get surrounded and sucked by negative energy if you do not work on what's happening to your mental health if you do not take actions if you do not talk about it with with important and necessary people if you do not take care of your mental health if if you do not train your mind to be happy or if you do not do things which makes you happy or tries to which helps you to get out of that negative energy and vibe your productivity level will will is bound to decrease you won't be able to do anything you will you will not feel that energy you will, what you will feel like lying on your bed all day because you are you are thinking about that hypothetical extremely negative scenario which you have created in your head which is nothing to do with in reality but you are still thinking about it because you think that 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 might happen to you and that is the future scenario which you are believing and thinking and this is this is really 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 bad for your life and your health sometimes you the it might have a i don't know negative impact on your brain and your heart as well since they might be interconnected either i don't know so this is t- take your mental health seriously okay and do not joke about it doesn't matter with whom it is maybe it can be with your friend your relative your cousin your siblings no 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 it's not it's not a matter of joke okay and if you are treat it with kindness and empathy and now i'm going to talk about if you know someone who is an overthinker or who suffers from overthinking how you can treat them in and in what way you should treat them okay so the first thing you should do is understand understand that that the person who is an overthinker is different from others they are the people who have who wants to and who needs to share things with you but won't be able to share it with you it, that's a different kind of pain and you forcing the conversation with them is going to make it worse do not try to force any kind of conversation with them just let them know that you are there for them just let them know that you, they can come up to you at any time and just don't just tell it with words okay prove it to them prove it that you are actually close to them prove it that they mean something to you in this world where careless being careless is being cool prove it that you actually care for them by showing care for them by trying by being with them in the times of need i know many people who just act careless because they think it's cool 
it's not that cool because this world i believe that this world needs more good people they need more genuine people then it needs more people who who can care and who can show love and who can spread positivity and who can show more kindness there are enough people already in the world who can spread negativity and who can act like they do not care don't be one of them if you have a, if you have a friend who is an overthinker give them some space to open up they won't open up easily because they're already they've already thought about the hypothetical situation where they have shared it with you and you are already acting negatively and your friendship is destroyed trust me they have already projected that scenario in in their head this is how bad overthinking can be they will need to feel that trust and that certain level of comfort so that they can share it with you so i hope this video was useful and if you think this video was useful then please share it with an with an overthinker or with anyone who you think is can benefit from from it because that's the main intention of me making this video so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing and like this video and comment it down below what in what way you think it can help an overthinker or what's your experience with overthinking with being an overthinker or with an overthinker so i would like to know that because i would like to interact with you guys and if you want to follow me on my instagram it's right here i would love you i would love it if you show some support and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye